Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys this look that I've been doing that is a bronzy, glowy, like summery look without be without using any foundation. So I haven't been wearing any foundation. I haven't been wearing foundation for like weeks now because of like quarantine and wearing masks. But this look that I've been doing is just so, it's first of all, it takes me like 10 minutes to do this look it's like no effort whatsoever and i just love how it gives me like a natural bronzy look without me without looking like i'm wearing foundation because i'm not wearing foundation but it just gives a beautiful overall glow and i'm only using like three to four products so it's insane so yes yeah, so i'm super excited to share this look with you guys so if you guys are interested please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and Let's jump into the video. Okay, so last week I uploaded a haul, and in that haul I spoke about both of these products. So the first product that I'm going to be using is from V. This is the AM Moisturizer. It has SPF 30 in it. It's just awesome. And then the next product, this is where you get the bronzy glow. This is the Drunk Elephant um, Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do this. So first thing I do is I take the moisturizer and I just pump like one to two, like one and a half pumps on the back of my hand. And then I take the drops and I do one pump into the found, I was gonna say foundation, into the moisturizer. And then I just kind of like dab it like that all over the back of my hand. Let me get my hair out of my face. Okay, so I just go like that. And then I just take it and I go like this, like this. And then I just take it and I just rub it in. Like, no effort, nothing. It's just super, super easy. As you can see, that added a little bit of glow and a little bit of bronziness, but not a lot. And obviously, it added moisturizer and put on SPF because we mixed it with this. So what this Drunk Elephant bronzing thing is, it's just a serum that gives you, like, bronzing effect. So it, I don't know if it says it on here. No, it doesn't say what it does, but I can link, I'll write it down in the description box for you guys what exactly this does, because it's actually like a serum that you can use just all over your face for every day, and it gives you like really good benefits. I think it helps with dark spots, I think it helps with like wrinkles, stuff like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to pump it directly on my hand, just like that. I'm going to go like this, and then I'm just going to start to work this into my skin. So now you guys are probably going to be like, whoa, what are you doing? You look like you're a crazy person. Like, it, honestly, every time I put this on, I'm always like, whoa, am I sure this is going to look good? But it always looks good in the end. So I'm just going to take it. It actually looks like, you know that, like, blood facial that I think Kim Kardashian is, like, famous for getting? That's what this always reminds me of when I initially put this on. It just looks it looks a little crazy at first, a little crazy, but then it looks real good. I'm just going like this. Now that I look absolutely insane, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Fenty Cream Bronzer and I'm just going to use this e.l.f. brush. This is the, what is this? The Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to put it just like I would if I was just bronzing my face like normally with this. I'm just going to take it right here and just blend it. You guys are probably like, what are you doing to yourself? But I promise you, in the end, it will look freaking great. Okay, so we're done with the bronzer now. So now I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm going to take my favorite concealer at the moment, which is the, the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And I'm going to apply it just like I would normally. Obviously, not an insane amount because you don't need a lot even though that kind of looks like a lot. <laughs> so now I'm just going to take my sponge and I'm going to blend out the concealer just like I normally would if this was just like a regular makeup routine. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is obviously this looks crazy, so I'm going to take that same brush that I used for my bronzer and I'm going to blend out the edges of this concealer. Now that the concealer is totally blended out, I'm going to go ahead and set it just like I normally would with my Kylie Jenner Translucent Setting Powder. So while that's baking, what I quickly do is I go in with my powdered bronzer from Fenty and I just take a little bit and I just kind of just 
go just like that because that's just going to give it a little bit of bronze and a little bit of fizzle and just go just like this and a little bit around the forehead but nothing crazy all right so now i'm just going to go ahead and wipe away the bake So now for highlighting, I'm going to go in with my Morphe highlighter in the shade Extra. It's going to come together. I promise at first it always looks like a little crazy. And then once I'm done with everything, it looks so normal and just so pretty. I love it. I'm just going to take a little bit of blush and just put a little bit on my cheeks. Nothing crazy. Just a little like flush of color. So now for the eyes, so 90% of the time what I do is I just put on like mascara on and then I kind of just call it a day. But I have been loving wearing this brown eyeliner from Kat Von D. This is just, what is this called? The Tattoo Liner in the shade, what is it? Mad Max Brown and I have just been living for it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you guys how it looks because I did this a few times and I really, really liked the result. I'm going to quickly put on this liner. I'm going to get really close and probably out of frame. So I do apologize in advance, but I'll be right back. Hey you guys, so this is how the brown eyeliner looks. Honestly, this brown eyeliner practically almost looks black. Like every time I put it on, I'm like, I really feel like I'm wearing black eyeliner, but it is a little bit lighter than the black eyeliner. I just wish it was a little bit more brown. Or at least showed up a little bit more brown because I feel like it shows up like it's almost black. But it is what it is. So now I'm going to move on to mascara. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. You guys, I'm telling you this look when I get ready for work takes me like 15 like minutes. I really spend a lot more time on my hair than I do when I do this. And at first you guys saw it looked crazy. But now that all this other stuff is on like the concealer and the bronzer and the powder. I feel like it just pulls everything together and really just makes it look beautiful. And the serum does lighten up. So when you first put it on, um, it does obviously look super, super intense. But then as it dries and whatnot, it does fade a little bit. And trust me, by the end of the day, you can barely even notice it. But it just still gives you that like overall like bronzy, glowy look, which I love. Okay, so I do want to keep this look bronzy, so I'm going to use Kat Von D's lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. Alright you guys, so this is the completed look. This is how everything looks once everything is all done and everything. I didn't use a setting spray, but you can of course use one if you feel like you need one. But we didn't use a lot of powder, so I didn't find it totally, totally necessary to use a setting spray. But of course, if you want one, you can of course use one. But you guys, I have been obsessing over this routine for like the past week. It's what I've been doing every single day that I've worked. And when I first started doing it, everybody was like, wow, you look so like sun-kissed. Like, were you in the sun? And I was like, nope, it's just this serum that I am using. And you guys, I have been loving it. So this doesn't give any coverage, but it kind of looks like it gives coverage. I know that like it's contradicting, but I don't know. It looks like I have like coverage, but I know that I don't because I can still see like obviously this little pimple that I have right here. I have freckles like on my nose that I can still see, which is totally fine. I mean, I'm not like going crazy over it. I know this obviously is not a foundation, so it's not going to give me coverage whatsoever, but that's why I'm using it. So I love how just how like natural this makes me look. And you can obviously glam this up, glam this up if you want. You can do a lot more eye makeup if you want. You don't have to keep it so minimal, but I do really, really love this. I think it's so easy. Like I said, it takes me like 10 minutes when I do it in the morning it's just so like one two three and as you like the day goes on the serum does get lighter and lighter and lighter so it doesn't look like super orange throughout the entire day which is good it does like fade but it doesn't fade to nothing it just fades a little bit to where you don't look orange but you still look like sun-kissed and bronzed and glowy and I freaking am obsessed with this this is just like my go to look at the moment I feel like even when like I'm gonna be wearing makeup I feel like this is still gonna be what I'm using just because I love like the way it makes my skin look it makes me look natural it doesn't make me look cakey it doesn't make me look anything and it's just one two three and it's done so yeah so that is all I have for you guys in this video I really hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you guys like learned a little something from this just by using these little glow drops I feel like it's like a game changer honestly I'm obsessing over those right now they're like my new 
favorite at the moment but yes let me know down below if you guys are like doing looks like this too you just want to be like super minimum for the summer not do a lot of foundation not do a lot of heavy stuff on your skin and just kind of like let your skin breathe let me know down below if you guys are doing the same and yeah so that is all i have for you guys in this video i really hope you guys did enjoy please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe and i will hopefully catch you guys in my next video bye